Welcome to Dining and Culinary Services Training. This is for the opening and closing of the dish machine. There are 13 screen pieces that must be placed into the dish machine. The screens are laid out in the picture the same way they should be placed into the machine and the numbers reflect the order that they should be installed in. Remember to put the small solid panel into each tank first and then put in the larger screens. There will be a total of six jets that need to be installed in the machine when you're opening. Align the rear portion of the jets with the hole in the rear of each compartment and then screw on the end caps. As you're setting up the machine, be sure to close all three drains at the bottom, turn the safety switch to on on the control panel on the machine, press the green fill button, the button will light up and the machine should start filling. After it's filled with water, the light will turn off and the machine will be ready to run. With the accumulator, start it using the panel under the center of the trough. Clear any dishes left from last night. If there's still time before service, stop the accumulator to save energy, but remember to start it again when the service begins. Silverware soak. Make sure the drain on the sink is closed. Then put a silverware rack in the sink, only use specific racks. And then place it below the silver fusion dispenser and press the time dose button. Keep filling with time doses until the silver fusion completely submerges your silverware rack. The trough. Replace the two drain catches, vertical screen, and cover plate at the drain end of the trough. Push the drain plug in at that same end, and then turn it on. The circulation will begin as soon as there is enough water. Set up your polling stations as you'll be shown in the dish room video. Closing the dish machine. Again, there will be 13 screen pieces that need to be taken out of the machine. The numbers be below show exactly how many screens you should have when you close down the dish machine. Scrape all the waste into the garbage. Next, open the drains for each tank. The drain switches will be located beneath each tank. Turn the dish machine off using the safety switch on the control panel. Open the bottom doors of tanks 1 through 3 and completely remove the top doors. Lean the top doors against the bottom doors with the inner surface facing out so they can be sprayed clean. Unscrew the end caps of the jets and lower the jet softly onto the conveyor belt. There will be six jets altogether, one in the lower section and one in the upper section for each tank area. Wait until the water in the tanks is fully drained, and then remove any wares that may have ended up in the bottom of the tanks. Remove any large chunks of debris and throw them in the garbage, and then spray out the inside of the machine, top and bottom sections of each tank, jets, doors, and curtains. Repeat until no significant debris remains. Some additional closing items. Close, lock, and remove the compost bin to the street and replace it with a clean one. Take the trash out and replace your bag. Sweep. Go ahead and mop if time allows. You can spot mop where necessary. Wipe off the silverware sorting area to remove food particles and sanitize. Organize everything so it's neat for the morning, and when you're ready to go, turn off the lights and fans and leave.